Oh, hello again. Welcome back. I haven't seen you for ages because it's, uh, well, it's the middle of winter and I've got lazy. I just haven't bothered doing much videoing or any drone flying. But we're up in the garage today and we're going to pull the covers off all of the bikes, hopefully, and see and get them started up. Let's see if they start okay. They've been sitting now, uh, realistically, since about last October. It's now the end of February. I haven't, uh, I've kept the batteries charged, but I haven't started them at all. So whenever they, I turn the keys and try to start them, it'll be the first time in probably about five months. So we'll get the covers pulled off and we'll start with a wee one and take it from there. As you can probably hear outside, the wind's blowing a severe gale today. We've had Storm Dudley, Storm Eunice, and Storm Franklin. And the, the way the wind's going the day, it sounds like Gertie's outside, but uh, she hasn't been named yet. Right, V125, it can't fit under the covers. It, it doesn't just, yeah, maybe warrant it. So let's see if I can get these off here. Uh, I have no idea. I imagine everything should be fairly good because everything was put away. All cleaned and ready to go. So there's the, the CBX. This is actually a, a car cover. That was about the house, which is quite good for covering four motorcycles. Should be a VFR and the next J in there. Yep. <laughs> Everything present and correct. Thank goodness. Let's get this out of the way. Okay. VFR 750, 1987. It's an FH model. XJ900 in April 89, that one was bought. That was April 87. It's registered January 1979. And the LT is 1999. In fact, the only bike that made it into the 21st century is the V scooter. I think it's 2001. Let's get the keys. Now, I know for a fact everything was put away, oil levels and all were correct. Uh, I don't think I need to go through the whole rigmarole of checking oil levels and stuff. It's just not worth the effort. Okay. Uh, hope you can see. Right, key in. Ignition on. On these here you have to um, apply the back brake to get the starter to turn. It's been a while. You're not going to go. Oh dear, oh dear. Failure in the first. I say it has been five months. So it already starts up alright though. No, it's so not going to go. Okay, that's not so good. We'll get the charger on it. <laughs> uh, uh. What about the BMW? What do you think? Let's go for it. Are you ready? Bavarian technology for you. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Five months. And that's it. I better open the door. A hair.
seven and a half degrees in the garage. Not that terribly warm, sure still. Right, we'll get the wee uh, charger put onto the scooter for a bit. Although it's only a trickle charger, I'm, I'm not expecting any great improvement in the battery condition in that time. Get it connected up. That's that bit. Okay, let's get her plugged into the mains. Right, it says it's charging. We'll let that sit for a bit. Now, what would be best to go for next? Uh, I think we'll try the XJ because it's uh, sitting close close by without having to climb over too much yet again this hasn't been started since I don't know when I hope it doesn't let me down the wee choke mechanism is a bit stiff so I'm always inclined to just pull it out by hand like that, that's the choke on Here we go. On you, girl, you. <laughs> yeah. Not doing too well today, are we? Try again. Good, 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 good. Two out of three so far. I'll we'll have to climb in to get at the BFR. I'm not sure about it, I'll be honest with you. Right, BFR keys. Got the VFR keys on a CBX keyring. <laughs> it's tight. I might have to climb on board. How are we going to do this? Yep. Petrol on. Choke on. Ignition on. Ryan.
doesn't like that. That's her under her own steam already. It's only been a couple of minutes and she's purring like a kitten. One left. Getting us going to be the problem. The CBX. Right. I will figure it out. There's some stuff piled in around it there, but we'll get that moved. I think our best access <laughs> might be between the Yamaha and the BMW. We'll get in this way. Ooh. I don't want to butter that mirror. It's there, kind of delicate. I think maybe I'll have to throw my leg over this. Oh. There we go. We're getting somewhere now. Have the petrol turned on. That squirts a drop of uh, fuel into the intake. That looks lively. I'll try full choke, obviously. Fingers crossed. Don't let me down, big girl. cylinders straight away. Okay, so we've only got one failure, the wee scooter. And I'm sure it's only a battery problem with that anyway. I'd like to say it's nothing short of amazing, but at the end of the day, <laughs> they should always start. I'm happy, I'm happy. I'll get the wee scooter ch uh, charged up and we'll get it started sometime. Maybe tomorrow. Okay, let's take a wee look around all the bikes now. Uh, the big LT. Fifty six one four two. The mileage is getting up on her rightly, it's, but it's still absolutely immaculate. Um, I'm not sure if I put it on YouTube. I don't think I did. At the end of last year, I removed the side stand. Centre stand, 
and all the associated brackets and uh, repainted them. There's a, a main mounting bracket which is secured to the bottom of the gearbox. It comes off with the centre stand and the side stand and took the whole lot off, replaced the bolts and uh, fitted new bolts here as well. And cleaned and painted everything, lacquered it. So it's it's looking good. It's that clean now, I don't want to take it out and get it dirty. But it's just, uh, for a 23 year old bike. It's absolutely immaculate. There's barely a mark on it, and it's still as good as ever, you know, 58 to 60 miles the gallon. And really doesn't use any oil. I would have to top it up maybe once a year. Now, CBX. Let's have a bit of a look around here. Not much has changed. I remember... One of the last videos I did, uh, must have been, it was, must have been the first start last year, in 2021. 20, it was a bit corroded and stuff like that, but I did a, I did a job on it in Eving now. It's absolutely immaculate. It's a shit, well, almost as shiny as it was whenever I put it away five months ago. I'd say, I don't think about too many people would describe it as being dirty. So that's good. Poor old Yamaha. What's the mileage in it now? 63, nearly, nearly 64,000. And it's still, you know, for a, a bike of that, for a bike of that age in mileage, It's really as clean as any XJ in the road, though. <laughs> they are very rare now, if you see one, I think hen's teeth. This is meant to be my winter bike, except <laughs> I think due to increasing years, I don't do so much riding in the winter anymore. I just uh, prospect of taking the bike out and, you know, bound to be getting filthy and covered in salt off the road and stuff, and then have to come back and washing it and drying it and putting it away. I just inclined to let it sit until the good weather comes. And the good old VFR, yet again, it's as clean as any VFR of that age. I actually noticed one on um, eBay recently. Uh, it said it was an FG, but there's, there's no difference between the FG and the FH. The FG came out in 86, the FH in 87, but it was, uh, the, the model was exactly the same, there's virtually no change at all. And there was one, came out, it was on eBay, and I was looking at it, and uh, I don't think it was as, in as good condition as this one. There was a lot of corrosion in the front of the forks and bits and other bits and pieces. It did look particularly shiny right now, and it didn't have the standard exhaust, which mine does. That's the original standard exhaust. And it ended up, it went for 2,600 quid, which to me, you know, I mean, literally, I wouldn't expect to get much more than 1,500 pounds for that. So maybe I'm wrong. I must be wrong because, as I say, somebody paid two and over two and a half grand for a, a bike in worse condition, in my opinion, than that one. Uh, I don't believe I'll ever sell this bike. Same with the CBX. I'll not be selling it either. It's a bike for life. This is a bike for life because I've had it since new. And I have to say at this point, it might be being joined by a similar vehicle quite soon. Uh, I've got something in the pipeline, which I'll not divulge at the minute, but it could be an extra, an extra space taken up in the garage. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have to get it all figured out and get a bit of space organised. Um, I really should 
and sell the wee scooter because this I say the Yamaha's meant to be my winter bike this is really meant to be my winter bike for scooting about and uh, I need to I need to get some space so I really might just let this one go it's fantastic order as well there's only 12 just turned 12,000 there's 12,005 miles on it interesting stuff if I get this <laughs> should I try it again now it's not going to go I wonder can I try it with the starter with the um, with the battery charger on it I don't think it'll do any harm I haven't got enough hands hold on I'll have you back in the chest mount again I can't see that <laughs> It's only been on the charger for 10 minutes. It's not going to make any difference. But you, you never know. <laughs> Look at that. Would you credit that? There you go. It wanted to go the whole time. <laughs> Better take the wee charger off it. It must have heard me talking about it and decided it would just just go and keep up with the rest of them. It's a great wee bike, you know. I have some fun on it. Well, that works. Brake lights. Yep. Yeah. So there you go, that's all five of them started today. We'll leave it there and hopefully I'll have another video soon and possibly, probably another bike to show you. Uh, I'm excited, I can tell you that I'm excited and I hope you will be too. So for the meantime, we'll leave it there. And we'll see you shortly. All the best for now.